Hello, good morning. Thanks for coming back. This is your daily tarot reading geared towards healing your soul and just learning the card meanings and getting just maybe some daily mundane guidance. <laughs> so this one, as you can see, is for Wednesday, May 22nd, 2024. Right there. Ooh, we have the high priestess upright. We have the three of cups reversed and the queen of cups reversed. Well, that's an interesting combo. Maybe there's some really good guidance that comes through this morning, either that has you know come through dream time because this the high priestess, of course, is ruled by the moon. And I'm wondering, and you know, it's funny, you can look at this card. This is actually the card that's on the, the box. Oh, here it's on the guidebook too. But if you look at it at one angle, her eyes are open. At another angle, they're closed. Look at the, and the moon coming through. You can really see it better, I guess because of the contrast. This is a darker background. You can see it better on the, the book and on the box, I think. Because I always notice this like glowing third eye there. So anyway, it's my card for connection with your higher self. So you may wake up in the morning, whether you're, you know, you keep your eyes open or closed or whatever. If, if you open your eyes first thing in the morning or you wake up and your eyes are still closed and you're trying to remember that dream, I think there can be some direct higher self guidance come through. Uh, this is our card for trusting our instincts. This has to do with... Um, you know, trusting your your intuition, your higher self guiding you. And there might be some guidance as to, with the Three of Cups, um, a friendship, because it has come through reversed. The Three of Cups reversed is usually a card that has to do with maybe some stifled creativity or maybe feeling betrayed by a friend Maybe there's the fear of betrayal. Maybe there's, maybe you wake up and you, you've gotten dream time guidance about something in the past and maybe it's clearing, but there's some awareness because we have a message, you know, from the feeling level, the feeling body, the emotional body here with Mercury and Cancer. And the message would, I would think, have to do with, um, just feeling maybe like you're not good enough, and it's not true. It's definitely not true. And in fact, if that's your deepest soul issue to heal, you you turn that around by reminding yourself how how much you you know you're more than enough. Everyone has more than enough of their own unique gifts in order to um, take care of whatever needs to be handled in this lifetime. We just have to remember. You know, we come here with this little piece of ego fragmentation that has forgotten who we truly are. And that's why we have such a hard time in life is because we're trying to remember who we truly are. So if you can remember, go back to that place of remembrance, your connection with spirit, your connection with your spirit. That will, if, if you come from that point of view, that will get you so far. Rather than focusing in on the the negative side of it, which isn't even you at all, it, it's just it's just a false belief that you went out with in your last lifetime. So you're more than enough. And when you turn that around, then there's no more depression. There's no more uh, feeling like you like the, there's no more fear of you know just feeling like there's betrayal that could happen because you're no longer betraying yourself um yeah so if you are going through depression now you have to remember that during our healing we it's it's normal to feel depressed 
That, that's a part of healing it because we're, we're connected to the depressed place that we repressed when we were younger because we couldn't, it wasn't safe to feel everything and deal with everything because we had to stay connected to our parents. And so we magnetize their negativity into our soul substance and we've got our little soul split, and then we've got all their crap on top of that. And so as adults, we have to work through all of that. All right? And you need to expect depression during your healing because that's just a real part of it. We're working our way out of vicious circles is what we're doing. We're needing to meet the pain and process it through. Otherwise, we stay stuck, and then we end up reaching out for all these substitute needs, which or just addictions of all types. So we're healing the places that we numbed out when we were children. We had to numb out in order to survive. So just remember those real needs. Keep going back to those real needs. They are to love, to give love, to have love, to love yourself. They are for safety and comfort and connection. And then to be seen and heard and understood. And that's what turns into your creativity. And that's what would turn this card around. The Three of Cups is very creative. Now, this issue, I would say for most of you, has to do with a mother, because I have the Queen of Cups reversed. So this would have been a mother who was um, really emotionally insecure, maybe very codependent, maybe very moody and passive-aggressive. And so nothing was really spoken about uh, or it was spoken about behind, you know, the, the, the dad's back. And, uh, you know, maybe dad was just out trying to cover everyone's butt, you know, trying to earn a living. And, yeah. But then again, on another level, too, this could be higher self-guidance that reminds you that you need to take good care of your body. Maybe you've been drinking too much. I. Uh, or maybe just not even getting enough water in. There's a, there's the need for water. Every single one of these cards has to do with water. <laughs> so maybe there's really just that guidance of like, oh, I need to drink a lot of water when I first wake up, lest I be dehydrated. And when you're dehydrated, your brain doesn't work right, so your brain won't get the messages that your spirit's trying to, you know, give you. And, yeah, so I think that's that's the message for someone out there. Needing to care for your body. Uh, there can be cravings that you're letting go of. And maybe with the Queen of Cups too, maybe this is a higher self calling with the High Priestess. This could be a higher self calling to be a caregiver with these Three of Cups here. And maybe you grew up in a family where you felt like you had to take care of your mother, then maybe that way your your um, needs would be taken care of. You know, that's kind of all subconscious. Maybe it wasn't a completely conscious thought or intention at all. But maybe you always felt called to take care of other people when you were younger. And now as an adult, it's, maybe it's time to honor the fact that you'd be an excellent caregiver or some type of a psychologist or therapist, uh, you know, of somebody who really cares. I love it. If that's the case, go for it. <laughs> so, okay. Well, that's all I have for today. Take good care, you guys. Bye.